So I'm really bad at keeping up, keeping track of what I got going on here. In the other video I had, I've got the backhoe attachment in here. I think I may or may not have shown a picture on the back of the ditch witch. But we've got it rough mounted, rough mounted well enough that we can lift the tractor off the ground and uh, get in there and do some more welding. I've ran some beads, but I want to run some more beads to strengthen it up and I might put a few more braces in just to give it a little more than what it has. And I still got to go through and tidy up this area here. Let me grab a light. There we go. Not better. Still got to go through and get shorter hoses. I'm um, running this unit as a self-contained hydraulic unit on the back. Uh, I got some hoses to get to replace. I got the, one of these is a Power Beyond. I'm going to go ahead and cap that off, get rid of one less hose. You got a stiff mount going from underneath the seat area over here to the three point. I've got some five inch channel going back. And you can see where it terminates right by that clothes pin and then it goes to two inch, two by two. Uh, quarter inch thick wall square tube and that runs up to the front I think I'll have to modify this tank as you see it uh, comes up underneath but doesn't go under the seat and it hits on this side so I might modify the top of that a little bit shorter to tuck it in here after I clean those up you can see the metal there that's bare that's that 2x2 two two frame running next to the frame of the tractor here for the loader. And I've got a bar going across just to hold it, hold it up from popping up. And I'm going to weld some, right here on this uh, end piece that you're looking at, I'm going to weld some tabs that come up so it gives it something to, like a tab from here on up this direction. So once I get it underneath the tractor, it'll kind of lock in to this post on both outsides and it'll be easier to slide it up to get it to line up better here. Because that was kind of a pain in the butt when I took it off and to line it back up. Uh, as you can imagine, there's a lot of weight on the back of that backhoe. So getting this thing shifted to the side, it, uh, it took a little bit of time. So I'll weld the tabs on there that I'll prevent that next time and help me line it up easier. Not a whole lot of room underneath these things with uh, the tubes and everything that hang low. But we got her. Let me slide up over here. I don't like going on the ground, but... Here's a bracket that I made that bolts to the two bolts on the bottom of the transmission. It also uses a... This is all half-inch plate. Uh, it also goes all the way up the front of the transmission in the back. And um, it's pretty stout holding up the weight of that. Some doubled up two inch square tubing across. Um, I still have a hole in the center in that area where I put the clevis uh, or the rear draw bar through and still retain the factory draw bar and not take this bracket off. Like I said, I've got some more uh, finish welding to do on that. Actually a lot of finish welding. But we're getting her done. This project, YouTube friends, pals, whatever, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let me go back. This is a uh, Beko attachment off of Ramirez Trencher. I think it's 50 or 56, possibly. I'm not really sure. And uh, I've been looking. I found this on uh, the local uh, Facebook page for things for sale in the area. So. So far, everything's just 
it's mounted and it's it's kind of uh, a little bit everything's loose uh, the pump I got from a buddy he got an auction didn't know if it even worked but it works good the tank also came off the trencher it used to mount right here and there's one underneath that one Woo. looks like we're welding that thing too I didn't even know it was broken off uh, we got some uh, channel made a little subframe here I made one at the top that goes to the top of the three point goes up underneath the seat the seat can pivot a little bit too goes down I got two inch uh, square tube quarter inch thickness and that tubing goes up travels up and connects up here in the front so the way the tractor is just the back I was just pretty much picking up the way the tractor when it's when it's up and I made this bracket that goes behind your um, draw bar and I can still use the draw bar it's got a hole through it I'm gonna burn in some better welds than that too I didn't have a I don't have a really good welder right now and a friend brought his over and let me use it which I'm really grateful for that so in the next couple days we're gonna be burning it in and uh, I'm gonna beef that up a little bit more where that that connects down there and possibly add some more metal to it but that's what we got going on for now I'll shoot another video once it's uh, together all the way and we're digging some holes with it. Thanks. Wind. There's a wind advisor right now. Just use the back up. Uh, the same thing all with my driveway. Hard to see because they have no uh, wind right there. They have no um, leaves on them. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Seventeen trees are transplanted. I did it all the same way. They're dormant. So I just dig them up and try not to mess up the roots as much as I can. Uh, dig around them, pop them out, bring them around front. This tree right here is probably a good 22, 23 foot tall. And we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see how these trees can go up here up on the hilltop. Like I said, we just got sand. That's what the brown shit is, the sand. So, the, uh, the new backhoe project's coming along pretty good. It's working out okay. And uh, I'm going to see how many trees I can't get transplanted for. It gets too cold and it freezes the ground.